The Amazing Universe Episode 20 Title, Amazing Stars, Classifications and Properties of Stars in the Universe Introduction Stars have always captivated our imaginations, inspiring us with their beauty, luminosity, and mystery. From the scorching brilliance of a blue giant to the gentle glow of a red dwarf, stars come in a dazzling array of sizes, colors, and compositions. In this article, we shall delve into the classifications and properties of these celestial objects, showcasing the astonishing diversity that makes each star a unique wonder in the universe. One Stellar Classification Stars are classified based on their temperature, size, and luminosity, giving them a distinct spectral type. The most widely used classification system, the Morgan Keenan MK system, categorizes stars into seven main types, O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. This classification scheme provides a framework to understand the differences between stars and helps scientists study their characteristics. Two O-type stars, the giants of the galaxy. O-type stars are the most massive and hottest in the universe. Their intense ultraviolet radiation ionizes the gas in their surroundings, creating stunning emission nebulae. These massive stars burn through their fuel quickly, usually lasting only a few million years before exploding as spectacular supernovae. Three B-type stars luminous and hot. B-type stars shine brightly with blue-white radiance and are known for their strong ultraviolet output. They tend to be larger and hotter than our sun and elegantly illuminate the night sky. Although less massive than O-type stars, B-type stars are still relatively short-lived. Four A-type stars, the steady radiators. A-type stars are bluish-white in color and have temperatures over 7,500 Kelvin. They are larger and brighter than our Sun but smaller and fainter than O and B-type stars. These stars have stable and long-lasting nuclear fusion processes, making them perfect for studying stellar evolution.
5. F-type stars, solitary luminaries. F-type stars are yellow-white in color and emit a bright light. Similar in size to our Sun, these stars have a longer lifespan and can remain stable for billions of years. Some notable F-type stars serve as the center of planetary systems, potentially hosting habitable exoplanets. Six G-type stars are yellow dwarf. Our very own Sun belongs to the G-type star category. Also known as yellow dwarfs, these stars provide the ideal conditions for supporting life as we know it. G-type stars are stable, possess a protective magnetic field, and shine with a warm yellow glow, making them vital to our understanding of stellar habitability. Seven K-type stars, the Red Giants. K-type stars emit a warm, orange-red light and are slightly cooler than G-type stars. They tend to be larger and more luminous, with lifetimes ranging from tens of millions to a few billion years. Many K-type stars exhibit variability, making them intriguing subjects of study in stellar astrophysics. Eight M-type stars, the cool dwarfs. M-type stars, also called red dwarfs, are the most numerous stars in the universe. They are small, cool, and often exhibit a deep red hue. Although faint, some red dwarfs are known to host exoplanets, thereby making them potential hotspots for future astronomical endeavors. Conclusion Stellar classification and understanding the properties of stars contribute significantly to our knowledge of the universe. From the colossal O-type stars to the cool M-type dwarfs, each star holds unique insights into stellar evolution, the formation of planetary systems, and the potential for habitability. By unlocking the secrets held within these celestial beings, we deepen our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. So, let us continue to gaze up at the night sky in wonder, as the stars inspire us to explore the mysteries of the universe. Thank you all for following and listening. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. For more details about this episode or any of our episodes on the Helpful Lessons channel, you can visit our website in the description box. See you in a new episode.